Exciting news, Parallax is back. That's right, we have brand new options for the background image of a page section in Squarespace 7.1. My name is Becca, I'm a Squarespace enthusiast and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the brand new background options that we have available and how each one of them can change the way an image will display. I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here in Squarespace, I'm gonna hop into edit mode and I have a page section down here that has a picture of mountains in the background. Now, before we dig into these five new options for image effects, I do wanna mention, this is specific for Squarespace version 7.1. Page sections are only available in the latest version of Squarespace, so you need to be using 7.1 to get these background image filter options, okay? So here we are inside Squarespace in edit mode. I'm gonna select edit section, I'll click on background and here we have image effect. Now when I click on image effect, you'll find our five new options. We have liquid, film grain, parallax, refracted circles, and refracted lines. Each one of them will have an icon for additional settings. So let's go ahead and start with liquid. When I click on this, you can now see the image appears to be almost moving. It has some liquid movement that is changing the way that background image is displayed. Underneath that, I have this button, which will randomize the effect, or this button, where we can manually change the settings. If I click on this button, you'll see we can change the shape and size, adjusting the complexity, intensity, and speed of the individual liquid waves. We can also adjust the motion for the whole thing, changing the speed, and we can change the texture, adjusting the smoothness and the shadow of this liquid effect. Now, if we hop back out of here, our next option is film grain. When I click on this, you can see an almost static film grain covering the top of the image. That's why I consider this an image filter. It's just going to show up on top of the image and not affect the image like the liquid did. So here in film grain, again, you can click the randomize option or click on this icon, which will open up your settings. We can change the noise or the amount of static to low, which is barely visible or high, which is super intense, or use these three dots and adjust the intensity and depth yourself. Now we also have the ability to turn the animation on or off. Right now it's set to on, so it looks like static, but if I turn it to off, we'll just get the solid film grain over the top of the image without that staticky animation. Turning it on looks like this, turning it off looks like that. Now next we have parallax, which is a fan favorite. This is going to change the background or the position of the background at a different speed when you scroll through the page. So now as I scroll up and scroll down, you'll notice that the background is changing at a slightly different speed than the rest of the page content. Again, we have randomize or we can edit the individual settings. So let's do that. Here we can adjust the parallax intensity, making it really intense or even changing the angle. Let's say we want it to go left to right instead of top to bottom. Let's do that. And now when I scroll, the image will shift from the left to the right or reverse based off of the angle of 356. Or I can take it down to where it was at 90. Let's get it close to 90 here. You can even type in the value and that's going to have it move horizontally. So again, you can change the angle right here under parallax. You can also adjust the zoom for the start and the end or click randomize. Heading back out of here, clicking this button will also create that randomize effect. So that's parallax, your third option here. Underneath that, we have refracted circles. You'll see we've got a bit of a refracted circle magic happening with the image here that changes when I move my cursor over it. That's a setting that we can change. Let's take a look at the settings. If I click on the settings icon for refracted circles, I can change the shape and size of the circle, scaling it from low to high, which would be a much wider circle. We can also change the complexity and flip the rotation, either both or on the X or just the Y axis. And then we can adjust the motion. I have it set to mouse. So when I move my cursor over this page, we're gonna get a change within those refracted circles. You can actually change this to scroll or to none. If you set it to none, it'll just be a static change and no animations will happen. If you set it to scroll, it will happen on a scroll. And if you set it to mouse, it will happen when you move your cursor over it. You can also adjust the intensity and speed of that interaction. Now heading back, we've got one more very similar to refracted circles, that's refracted lines. You can actually see the line slicing through those mountains there. And again, clicking that option, we've got a lot of settings. We can change the shape and size by adjusting the scale to high, which will be a really wide or thick line, or adjusting it to low, which will be a thinner line. 
the complexity of high or low, then you can adjust the rotation of it, changing the direction as to which those lines are facing. We can see the angle changing here with that rotation, lots of fun options. And then for motion, again, we can have it interact with the scroll or with the cursor itself, and we can change the intensity and speed. So lots of different options here to play around with. A quick recap, we have liquid, film grain, parallax, refracted circles, and refracted lines, and all of those can be found under edit section, background, image effect, and then click which option you'd like. Selecting those three dots will allow you to customize it even more. That's it for this overview of our brand new options for page image backgrounds or page section image backgrounds, and I could not be more excited. Let me know in the comments below, which one are you excited about? Are you stoked that Parallax is back? Or are you gonna give one of the other options a try? I'd love to know what inspired you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and comment if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Now I have a few more ideas that I wanna share with you about backgrounds for Squarespace. So stick around, here's what's coming up next.